growing a seed, taking care of a seed thing, managing the, uh, the, the plant themselves for you to have such beautiful fruits you can see in this plant. It's never easy, but it's possible. Kindly watch and learn. Today we want to talk about preparing soil for seed sowing. Good quality soil, good quality seedling. So where do we start? Number one, soil fertility. Number two, water penetration and water infiltration. Your soil should be fertile. Your soil should be able to have water penetrate from the top of the quality to the bottom. Now, for us to get fertile soil, we need manure. For us to get soil with some good quality of water penetration and water infiltration, this is what we do. We either use sand or come to this point you can see. This is a terrace for preventing surface runoff, for preventing erosion. So what happens? When it rains, we have water flowing from all this area. So we'll have sand being deposited here. We'll have leaves and some other organic matter being deposited here, right? And we'll also have the top soil from these surrounding regions being deposited in this terrace. So in the next two, three years, this terrace will be filled. So it will be filled by a mixture of sand, leaves, some other organic matter, we have silt and we have topsoil. So these will be fertile soil for seedling production. But just because of doubts, we are not going to use only this. We are going to mix these with manure and topsoil from the forest. So just wait and see what will happen at the time we are digging this soil and mixing with the summer soil from the forest and manure. can see some few years ago we had such a terrace in this area but after several rains we had it being backfilled to this level over here right so all this depth was just accommodating deposits and we have just a sample over here if you check this place the soil is very loose you can see some traces of sand soil some traces of sand soil at the same time you can see remains of organic matter over here these are remains of leaves some sticks which have been deposited in this area so which means that we have fertility we have sand soil which enables water to penetrate in the soil easily now some few weeks ago we picked soil from this area which was just a deposit and this is it very loose soil very loose soil you, as you can see no hardness in digging all this so this is our material number one in doing production in seedlings all this wow what a good soil. Have a look. Decomposing materials because of deposits. You can see leaves decomposing, organic matter, very nice manure. We have some sand traces here, right? So this is our first portion in preparing what we call protein material for our popo seedlings yes now from here we take you to a point where we take our top soil from the forest that increases the quality of water retention in our planting media have a watch As you can see, we are from show with you where we get our soil in a terrace which has been backfilled. Now, 
This is what we got from that terrace two weeks ago. Yes, very loose soil. Very loose soil, one of our best. Not it. Material number one. As we were talking, we went up to material number one, which was picked from a terrace which has been backfilled. So we were extracting the deposits. Now, we've come to a portion of land which has been left fallow for over 20 years. Right? So now here we want to check the topsoil. Now, this is a terrace which is um, in the process of being dug. So which means I wanted to show you up to what depth you are supposed to take your topsoil. As you can see on this on this clip is that we have almost two layers. We have one layer for the topsoil which is covering almost one and a half feet from the ground surface. This is the topsoil in, in any land which has been left fallow or virgin land. So what you do, go to your land which has not been um, holding any agricultural produce or no agricultural activity has been taking place in that land and dig at most two feet from the ground surface so this is the topsoil and this soil is fertile so now we have material number one soil which has been extracted from a terrace which has been backfilled so those are the deposits and then now we have media number two soil which has been dug from the forest or virgin land or else land which has been left fallow for a long period of time like five to ten years so this is our media number two which will be mixed with the material we've extracted from terraces and manure Our material or media number three for the purposes of fertility. This is the manure. If you check it, well decomposed, looks like black soil, but it is it. This is well decomposed manure for over 10 years in decomposition but still you can decompose yours for like six months or three months well decomposed or else you can use good manure which is in powder form it is still do good so this one you can't tell whether it's for cow goat sheep or chicken so this is very well decomposed manure for the purposes of fertility so we have rim materials or media techniques. One, the media we've dug from backfilling of a terrace, which we talked about it helping for the purposes of water penetration in the media and also for some fertility. That is media number one. Media number two is soil which has been dug two feet from the ground surface downwards in a fallow land or virgin land or deep in the forest that one is helping us to enable our media to have good water retention capacity and now our material or media number three we have well decomposed manure for the process of fertility good quality seed Good quality soil gives you a quality seedling. Now we have brought together the materials we need in this preparation. On my right, this is the soil we got from the process from deposits. At the center, well decomposed manure. And here, this other side, this is the topsoil we've dug from our 
Kumalo land. So now what do you do? I want to give you the ratios. The ratio here is 1 is to 1 is to 1. Like for example, we have 4 wheelbarrows of this oil, we have 4 wheelbarrows of uh, manure, and we have 4 wheelbarrows of this. So the ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1. Next is regular mixing so that we get a uniform mixture for all these materials. So what happens if someone is not able to get uh, the deposit from a terrace? It can happen that you don't have a terrace. So does it mean that you won't have anything to plant? No. We have you covered. Let me give you this composition. We have one. This soil from virgin or fallow land. Right? We have well decomposed manure. And now we have pure sand from the river. Okay? The ratios. Three portions for this. This is a soil from virgin land or fallow land or forest land. We have two portions of manure. And we have one portion of pure river sand. Now, remember, mix them in the ratio of three for the soil, two for the manure, one for the sand. So now, we will have this mixed. And remember now we have our material or media kind number one, where we have soil from the terrace which has been backfilled, mixed with the soil from uh, the forest or soil from fallow land or virgin land, then manure. And then we have this composition. So we just prepare both medias, put them in polytubes, and then we compare the kind of germination and growth in those two kinds of medias. Now teamwork in mixing the materials. Wait and see the mixer will get. Let's go. mixing uniform media you can't tell whether it's the manure the soil but it's a uniform mixture so this is what we'll put in tropoly tubes yeah now this was the mixture which we had the soil from terraces uh, topsoil from fallow land and manure. Let's move to the next point where we had the topsoil, the sand, and the manure. And also we compare the appearance of the two mixtures. As you can see, this is the mixture we had for sand, topsoil from fallow land, and manure in the ratio of 3 to 1. It appears more sandy, but still will do good for your seedlings. Just have a look. Looks more sandy, but still good. So the next thing is for it to be potted in the polytubes. And then now we compare the, uh, the performance from uh, mixer number one and mixer number two. Keep waiting. like to guide you on the size of the polytube to use. These are quarter kg polytube, these half kg polytube. Uh, in dimensions these are 4 by 6 inches polytube, these are 5 by 8 inches polytube. Same variety, same media, same management, same maintenance but you can see that uh, 
the quality of the seedlings are different this better than this reason watch this has got more media to feed on compared to to this so we urge you don't choose anything below five by eight inches poly tube in your potting Potting has been done and we have arranged the polytubes in this order. So the polytubes are ready for sowing, for seed propagation. Be with us in the next episode and be ready to learn more. Thank you.